Okay, after a very checkered start there, literally restarted the stream about three times because I messed around. But I thought I'd do a quick hour. Do a quick hour tonight. Let's get Miami done. There is a little bit of rain about after our absolute demolition in Baku. We were so good in Baku. So yeah, we've actually done pretty well in practice. Quite quick, so I'm happy with that. And we will go in a very, very confident Carlos signs. Right, let's do this. I think we've got all the car parts in. Yep, we have. Some of the other guys have upgraded, so we might... We're not going to be as quick as we were in the last one. Right, we've got to go straight out. Because there is rain imminent. Yeah, we'll, we'll go out first, and then we'll go out after as well. Radio check. Radio check. Copy. Let's go. Radio is good. Can you hear me? Up clear. I think everybody else is having that same idea. Okay, and we need to wake up the brakes now. Make sure you give us a couple of good brakes. Copy. Okay, you can pick up the pace. Copy. Yeah, we can push a little bit now. Not really thinking tow at the moment, but let's just see how the sessions go on. Maybe we could have a little handy tow from someone. We have margin to push a bit more. Copy. Yeah, so Bottas can go full. One now. Signs. We we can Copy. push him now. We've got plenty of energy, so. So happy to push now. Copy. We can we can sort of quickly hammer this through. So signs isn't actually quicker. So someone, I think the Red Bulls have definitely improved. No question from the last one. I think they've had a couple of up upgrades come in. Drop the base now, please. Charge the pack. Okay. Yeah, it's Ferrari. Ferrari and Red Bull. We're going to be in a three-way tussle, I think. But look. The Alpha Tower is quick. Lawson gets P2. That's fine, we're not going to go out again. Yeah, yeah I'm not going to go out again. I'm just going to save the tyres, I think. Yes, it's a dry track, but people shouldn't improve because the, the track rubber is going to be much lower. I know they will, yeah. How quick is Alpha Tauri? <laughs> Lawson, look at Lawson. <laughs> P2, look. This could be a hell of a, a hell of a race. I think there's, well, I think it's up to P7. All, all these guys. I think Lawson might be in with a shout here. We'll see in Q2. We'll, we'll see here. So it's going to be intermediates. That's if it does dry up. I'm not going to go out in the intermediates. I'm just going to go out a bit later. Yeah, I think if we go out quickly now, we might just get the best of the track. I think everyone else is going to think that too. Yeah, I think I think the best of the track's actually going. And happy to pick up the pushing level. Good beep. Okay, 
rocket to pick up the base. Yeah, copy. Okay. We'll see how we get on here. We want to sort of rush through this. I've only got an hour tonight, so let's just see. Charge on. Copy. We have to protect those tires. Copy. Quickest Bottas. Look at Joe. Lawson struggling. Yeah, I think you might get a, you might get a decent run. Again, I th I think we might be okay. I I'm taking a risk here. I'm really really taking a risk. I know I am. Look for Stappen. Russell signs is going down. We're in trouble. Oh, I tell you, I saw signs going down there, and I thought, oh my god, we're we're in big trouble. That's fine. Max is back, back with a bang. So did Lawson go out? I know he got through. Show Guan Yu, he he done a really decent lap at one point. Oh yeah, I'm not going out now. We're just gonna go out in the soft tires, but what we'll do is we're gonna try and have two runs on those soft tires. Yeah, I'm not on I'm gonna give him another little run around. I'm gonna try and get him out twice. Don't know whether we'll get him out twice. I think I'm going to have to put them on the, yeah, <laughs> just for the sake of um, saving a tyre for qualifying, I'll put that out. So we're P9 and P10 at the moment. Not going out at all yet. The asterisk to help the intermediates. Concentrate here. Hello, cheese god, mate. How are you? It's a nice, quiet start. I mean, I, I had to restart the stream about three times. It's a bit of a shambles. A bit of a shambles start. So, yeah, we've had intermediate tyres going on. It's a little bit. I've left it right to the end, so it's a nice dry track for us. So, Liam Lawson's been really, really good. The Alpha Tower is absolutely upgraded. They are good. You're good to push. Right, okay, I'm gonna push him now. And then I can I can watch Bottas. Here we go, we're gonna watch we're gonna watch a bit of qualifying. Let's go. 
No, nah, thanks, mate. It, literally, I was going to go to bed. And I thought, oh, I'll do it for an hour. I'll do it for an hour. I'm going to be shattered in the morning, whatever. So. Good to have you in, mate. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, we don't need this guy weaving in front of us. Yeah, he's weaving and slowing us down. This is a this is a shambles. That is horrendous. Bottas isn't getting pole now. Did you see that? He's just slowing him down. So you've taken the checkered flag. Yeah, he just he's got. Oh, look at signs. Carlos signs. He's on one at the moment. His confidence is flying. Bottas is just stuck in traffic. He's he's not going to be good. He's going to be ninth or tenth, I think. Bottas. Yeah, look at this. This is this is going to be a pole position for Carlos Sainz. I mean, Valtteri's going to have a really good third sector, but I think it's not enough. I think he's going to struggle. Yes, P7. He got impeded. Ugh. That's so, so disappointing. Can Sainz get pole? Yes, he can. Come on. 47 milliseconds. We'll have that. Oh, really? Yeah, mate. It makes me want to play FM watching, watching you play FM. Gonna have to do it. Well done, Carlos. P9. That's not pace-wise. That's because he was stuck. Ah, oh, welcome in, Geordie G. Thanks for the follow. Really do appreciate that. Thank you. You're my 98th follower. We're nearly up the big 100, but thank you so much. Welcome in. Any questions, just just ask. Tension continues to build here as race day begins. The Miami Grand Prix arrived onto the calendar in 2022 with much You've fanfare. seen me just put Bottas out in the middle of loads and loads of traffic. Drivers have to take chances around the My first bad call of the evening. And I'm talking over the commentator as well. Oh, what a shambles. Now, nah, that's really good. You know what? I don't think I've been a, an international manager. I'm, f I'm football manager for a long, long time. Long time. I couldn't tell you. And you know what? I'm going to put Bottas on the hard tyres. And then he can have a real long... He's going to have a real long first sort of stint. Yeah, we can. he can just do his own race. And I, I'm not being funny. Signs' is, confidence should be peak because he won the last race. He won the last sprint. All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. Await our competitors here in Miami. So may the best driver win. When's the World Cup qualifying for, for you? Lining up on the grid. They've got a fantastic opportunity starting on pole. But, but that's a little while, yeah. Through to the end. And it looks like we're good to go. Here we go with the Miami Grand Prix. Let's get off to a good start. We'd love to see the Mercedes on pole. And it's lights out. And away we go. And we're away first time. Nice, nice. What's everybody on? Yes, they've gone for the hard. Signs is the only one who's gone in the medium. But if we do get a safety car, we can change things up a little bit. It's fine. Because there is a safety car. It's a safety car haven around here. So Signs is going to be way isn't he on those medium tyres he should be quick 
going to bring Bottas down. I'm not, not going to push him at all. I think he's got the pace to come through the pack. Okay. He's actually the fastest man in that first sector. Um, we're happy to stay where we are. All good. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna leave it like that. That's fine. So our car looks really quick. We're we're set in purple sectors. That's what we like to see. Yeah, I mean, that'll be really handy to see, but I think it might be difficult because do you have to beat Australia or something to get through to the World Cup? Will they be, they'll be in your section of the draw, maybe? I can't remember how they do it. So Bottas here, he's stuck behind Lawson. We're, we're streaking away from Max Verstappen. Look at that gap. We're like the Mercedes of four or five years ago. At the moment, touch wood. You just need Lewis in the in the seat. Yeah, but that's fine. I'm not going to push us. Don't think we need to. Don't need to be aggressive. So Bottas is up, he's past Piastri. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna deploy him a little bit. You know what? We'll 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 save it to the straights actually. Right, we can we can deploy him now. Okay, we need some deployed. Copy. Are we 1.2 seconds behind bloody Lawson? Lawson's firing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think what happens is, I think you go and play, I think you, you qualify from a group and then you play someone else. Like, I don't know. Um, I, you go through different qualifying periods. It's going to be tough, I know that. Yeah, it's going to be tough for you guys, because I'm sure it's like Japan and all that stuff. Hello, Daniel. Welcome in, mate. Hope you've had a good day. How are you, mate? You looking forward to the uh, Grand Prix this weekend? I am. I love to see Canada. And there's a bit of rain about knocking around, isn't there? So, might mix things up a little bit. You've got everything. You've got everything. Press on the hold available. Yeah, you've got a good side there, Cheese Cop. Yes, yes. I've only seen a couple. Yeah, I've, I've seen a couple of pictures knocking around. They're making them a bit smaller, which is much needed. About this DRS and stuff, who knows? Who knows if this is going to work or, or whatever. We, we don't know yet until the cars are on the track. Um, yeah, <sighs> the proof's in the pudding, mate. I, I think the great thing for me is they're making the cars a bit smaller. But, you know, uh, regarding DRS and following other cars, and they're, they're going to do a front and rear wing thing. I, I don't know, instead of the DRS. Who knows if that's going to work. Start reducing but that yes, energy. positive, because it's a change. It's a change from the grind, isn't it? Yeah, that's... Mate, you've hit the nail on the head there. Let's see the car on the track, especially in the unveiling next season. But it, it's changes. They're making changes. Oh, my God. Did he just hit that Ferrari? I thought he just I thought he just literally just crashed into him then. So Bottas started P9. It was due to the fact that I stuck him out in traffic. It was my fault. 
Sorry. Dropped onto no. I really look after his tyres a bit. Verstappen's just starting to creep up on us now, so we're going to try and increase that gap to a second, which we have done lovely. Just need to push the car and we can pull away from him again. 2.3. Let's not forget, we're on the medium. Mm -hmm. Everyone else has gone hard medium, so... But what a good team principal I am, because Bottas is on the hard medium. Checo just in front of us. The, I think the Ferrari's got a little bit more pace this, this round, actually. Even though they are 7th and 10th, respectively. I think we can get closer to Perez. I think we can get, we can get, oh, I think Bottas is just starting to fight with him. Just give him a little bit more, shall we? Can just to see if we can get past him. Yeah, but we'll attack. We can still do it. Just saving our tyres a bit. Let's, we'll look, look at that overtake. We always now like to see an overtake. Ah, uh, Dean. Dean, sir. They decide to give it a go. How are you, mate? Up that takes them to seventh place. Let's try to get it. Oh, Daniel, I think for, I think Lewis Hamilton will be really quick next year. Because whatever happens, Ferrari are always quick over a lap. Like, always quick. They have been every single year, I think. Um, I'm hoping for the best. I'm a massive, you know, I'm a massive Lewis Hamilton fan. Put a quick car under him and he'll be up there with the best. He needs a good pole position. He needs uh, he needs something just to re reinvigorate him. I think going to Ferrari will be superb for him. He just needs a change. So Bottas now up to six. Let's see him overtake now Lawson. Here, He's gone up a couple of places. We've been pushing him. Can they squeeze by? We're so quick when we push that car. And now Bottas moves up the field. Well done, Valtteri. Good stuff, mate. So we're behind Ocon now in the McLaren. The much improved McLaren. And he's got past the McLaren. We are firing. Signs four seconds quicker than um, Verstappen at the moment. Well, not quicker than him, but in front of him. Look at the difference between. I mean, for granted, I know that Signs is going to be on the weaker tyre come the end. Oh, look at this! Oh. We're not even pushing that hard tyre. We're going to deploy just to get him past him. We're now, we're now up with the Red Bulls. We're taking on the Red Bulls now. Or are we? Because Joe's just taking so grand new. Get out of the way. Get out of the way, man. Okay. Let's keep looking after our time. Ah. Yeah, I think he will. Yeah, I, I genuinely think he will. I think he will have a title battle. I think he'll push Leclerc as well. Leclerc will probably get a lot better next season. Because he'll, he'll have someone really pushing him. I, I'm hopeful anyway. Who knows? They'll probably have a... Now I've said that, they'll probably... Be towing a caravan next year. Take a look now. Now this was Valtteri Bottas. It's certainly inviting. Smooth as silk, Valtteri. Absolutely smooth. So now what Valtteri's got to do, he's got to start pushing. I mean, he's he's quicker than those guys in front of him. 
He's only two, two seconds behind them now. No, my car is. This is. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say the 2014. <laughs> my car is at the moment. You just need Toto. You, you need prime Toto Wolf calling the calling the shots here. Okay, can you bring it back, Lance? No, I'm in the f wall. No, I copy that. Oh, I didn't have the little video to that. I loved that when it happened. So Valtteri, in fact, my news actually are catching up with him, isn't he? I thought we were going to be looking in front of us, but we're not. We're looking. Oh, we're going to have to push him a bit. We want to try and get the clear. Oh, look at this! Oh, this this is Valtteri. It's very bad. He does he does touch the red ball though. He does, he does touch Leclerc. There's nothing wrong with keeping your elbows out. Yeah, he's knocking around here. He's up there. Look at this will to will. I think once Bottas goes in front of these guys, I think we'll, he'll leave them. Now we go for Verstappen. We can see Max Verstappen. Battery is on the low side. Okay, I know the battery's on the low side. Right, we're done. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with us there at the moment. We can, which we're, we're hunting down Max, aren't we? And Leclerc's hunting down Valtteri. But we are, we've got great pace. There will, I'm sure there'll be a safety car here. I mean, signs is streaking away. But those medium tyres will be bloody quick in the second um, stint. That's signs problem. So some of those two stoppers are coming into pit now. But we're not going to change signs. Could we change signs for a two stopper? Maybe. Bring him in for a set of softs. Really fire on them. Maybe. Tell you what, Bottas gets past Verstappen in a minute. He, he's right on him at the moment. Let's lift off, please. Okay. Bit of lift off. Copy.
Do I bring signs in? I'm thinking about whether to, to pit signs and do a two stop maybe. No, I think we're quick enough on these, these hard tyres. And he's, he's built up a bit, a bit of a gap. Yeah, that's a good question. Can we see here? 22 seconds. Where is he? Yeah, he's going to come out behind Norris, isn't he? Per well, that's, <laughs> that's in our pits. Isn't it? Um, yeah, it's going to come out Norris Perez. I mean, we've got a 10 second buffer though. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I think I think he's better off doing that. I think so we're just going to put, we're going to push these tyres, right? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to pit him next lap. Right, he, I'm going to push him now. Yeah, I'm going to use the soft tyre, but then we, we'd have to go soft, soft though. That'll be okay. Yeah, thank God I've got you on. Yeah. Yeah, okay. If we could just drop back a bit. Copy, copy. So what's his, yeah, he's still quicker, still much quicker. I'm not worried about Bottas at the moment because I think he can do his own. It's not going to be long now, mate. Copy, copy. I could just do the hard and just eke it out. 12 seconds now. Just reduce your speed. Okay, go big. Right, okay, I'm gonna box. Right, so 13, 13 seconds to Leclerc. So here we go. To so Joe, we might get out there. there. Yeah, no, that's good, mate. Thank you. Thanks for your input. Oh, no. What a disaster. Apologies. We should be clear on exit. What a disaster. Signs called it. He said, what an effing disaster. I mean, we're going to be quick. Whatever anybody says, we're going to be bloody quick. Whatever happens. Ah. Stappen's got a bit more tire on him as well. I mean, Sainz is going to come back and it, we're, we're going to be leading the Grand Prix again, but it depends what kind of gap. And we're going to be really quick at the end as well. But then again, they're going to be on medium tyres, so...
So we're right up with Red Bull guys here. And happy to pick up the pushing level. Copy. Yeah, he's setting sort of best sectors, so that's that's good. Let's just manage these tires. Okay. No more lift up required. Yeah, come in. I mean, that could have been so much okay, better. He would have literally, yep. with those nine seconds, he would have literally been on, on the back of these guys. We let the Red Bull guys fight each other. Oh, we've gone round the outside. Nice. We'll, we'll just, just bring we need that back down. We're, we're, we're fighting with him. I'm happy with that. So signs, let's let's have a look at the times. Signs is absolutely flying. Yeah, he's flying on these guys. So regarding Bottas, we're gonna do what the Red Bulls do with Bottas. We're gonna try and close them off. Oh no. That's good because let's see what happens. Because if if it is any kind of it's Alex Albon, cheese god. Dangerous. I do love to be in amongst the Red Bulls though. It really shows how far we've come. Time penalty for Alex Alpon. So we will box when other guys box. I've still got a little bit of time. I'm really happy with that. Look at signs. How quick those soft tyres are though. Yeah. He's absolutely flying on those soft tyres. We've not even pushed him at all, just kept him. Don't want him crashing. Oh, we, we're going to we're going to push him in a minute. We're going to push him past these. This fodder. We want to get him into the clear air, really. So let's take a look at the. We love to see Max Verstappen being safe. overtaken. The gap opens up for them. Two against two here, guys. It's Red Bull against Mercedes. Uh. Look at this. Coming through. I can't believe that he's just outpaced signs, really. Uh, 
Um, so tricky to overtake. Okay, so the clay's the in. Yeah, I'm gonna pit him. Yeah, we'll, we'll come in. Yeah. Trying. Just hit done. He got delayed there. Did you see that? He got delayed. So we're best off to bring him in. And now, now signs can go and do what he needs to do. We did change him to a two-stop. So. Come on, guys, we need a good pit stop here. Yeah, it's better than nothing. Just keep it's better than signs, for sure. So Leclerc goes in front of Bottas. Not by a lot, but he's in front. Perhaps we should have pushed for those last two laps. I didn't notice that Verstappen stopped. So Bottas got a bit of work to do here. He's got he's got to catch those guys up. You've got everything. You've got everything. Press on hold available. Perhaps we should have un tried to undercut them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're quick at the moment, look. I think I'm going to pit. To start reducing that I'm going to, sorry, not pit. <laughs> I'm just going to just just make him a little bit quicker here. Just, just push him a little bit. Yeah, so we, Signs is doing around the same time. So the drop-off's not not as bad as I thought. Plus, Bottas got a little bit more tire there. So if we do need, you know, when we do push Valtteri a little bit, he's he's okay. We've got a little bit of um, energy to burn there. Yeah. How, how long has this tyre lasted us? Ten, uh, it's going to be ten, 13 laps. Yeah, I might pit in a minute, you know. I might box in a minute, because I think we... The tyre will last. So Bottas is quicker than Verstappen at the moment. And we're not pushing um, Bottas at all. I might just push him down the straights. We, we push him down the straights. And then just, just bring him back down. We, we just micromanage him a little bit. He's actually increasing his lead, signs is. What we don't need is another stupid pit stop. Right, I'm gonna unbox him now. It's nice to have a bit of pace in the car, to be able to dictate the, the race. Do what we want to do for a change. We right, we, we're boxing now. Yeah. 
So we've got 13 laps on now. I'm not going to push this tyre at all. I'm just going to go standard and then we'll see where he ends up. He should have the pace. Yeah, that's better. That's better. We want to start seeing two that's seconds, 2.8. just in front look and he's got a fresh set of boots on look at that stunning pit stop there good call that cheese cob great call that mate Just out that DRS now. Absolutely flying. Okay, I'm not going to say this, but Sign should have this in the back. But we all know, we all know this game. It's not very nice to me. Oh, we can console lift off. Copy. I'm going to concentrate on Valtteri a little bit now. Yeah, I don't want to push these tyres when we're, when we're going round um, corners. When we're on the straights, it's fine. Push. I mean, they've got the DRS, so that's the only unfortunate thing. They've got DRS. Of Let's lift off, please. Worries me around that corner. Reminder a little bit of lift off where you can. Copy. Yeah, yeah. Reminder on the battery. Okay. Yeah, he's right up with him now, isn't he? So we've managed this quite well. Oh, obviously, with help from you, sir. But we've actually managed it. Managed it well. I'm going to be an idiot now. I, I'm, I'm going to be an idiot in a minute and I'm going to go for the fastest lap. Oh, there's, there's sector one done. Oh, sector two, he's gone purple. <laughs> no, great, mate. Astonishing. And does Signs get the fastest lap of the race? Oh, no, he hasn't. All that for nothing. Damn you. I'm, go I'm going back to medium now. Just going back to standard. Reduce your speed. Copy. No more lift off required. Copy. Give us a bit more lift off, please. So look at signs. He's eight seconds clear of the Red Bulls. It's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, you should do well, mate. When are you going to stream it next? I mean, mind you, you've got your eye in, haven't you, on the um, football manager at the moment.
So we've overtaken Leclerc. P3. We can't get a P1 on P2 again, surely. Surely this is not going to happen twice in a row. We are absolutely flying. Our car is so good. It's so smooth. It doesn't happen much on this game. Not for me, anyway. We're good. We're going to be updating the car as well. We're going to be putting... We're going to be aggressive in the strategy to try and push on. Doesn't happen to me. It's really nice when I've got a really quick car. I, I've had three years at Williams and it's been tough, very tough to finish seventh, eighth. This is nice. And let's not forget, Bottas started P9. Might just try and get out of. DRS in a minute, Foutry. We do need a little bit of lift off for the fuel. Carlos Sainz had a cigar on. And you know what, I'm going to say quite, we haven't had a safety car here, which is absolutely bewildering. My old team, Williams, struggling. That's ha got nothing to do with my decisions last season. So Bottas is out of DRS. He's two seconds now ahead of Verstappen. This looks like it's going to be a glorious one too. We're going to see it. We're going to watch this last lap. We're going to... Carlos Sainz has actually got traffic now. That was a good call, getting him on. Um, I think he would have struggled near the end with the hard tyres, definitely. It's a good call. Nah, I'm not pushing. We have margin to push a bit more. Copy. Said right, retire the car then. Fancy that. Yeah, I should push both of them, shouldn't I? So here comes Carlos Sainz. He's on his last lap. Ferrari is struggling. McLaren. The best of the rest, McLaren. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not pushing it. Jeez, jeez, I'm not doing it. Give it more lift off, please. Well, I'm going to say this. Perfect strategy. The, the pace of the car has been superb. We've had a bit of rain in qualifying. We've managed to get past that. Um, the other guys have closed in on us a little bit. You know, even though, okay, us guys, you know, we're four, four and a half seconds clear of the Red Bulls, but they've definitely caught us up a little bit. So we're going to have to be aggressive again in our upgrades. But here comes Carlos Sainz. And he's going to win his second race in a row after he hadn't won for about four years. Carlos Sainz wins in Miami. It's a one-two. Yeah. And Valtteri Bottas for a 1 2 for Mercedes. Mercedes are back. Okay, we take the flag. We're back. Fantastic drive from P9 to P2 for Bottas. Verstappen and Leclerc, they put us under a bit of pressure, but just at the end, we had a bit more pace than them. And it counted. But what a couple of races. We've had the perfect last two races. P3, 
one and p2 in baku in the sprint and in the main race and again in the main race here i think the guys are going to catch us up but we're going to have to be aggressive in our upgrades ferrari get two points russell p9 checo out of the points yeah thanks man thanks good to have my wingman there <laughs> I, I only just noticed the night bot told you off I forgot to do this I forgot to do hang on I forgot to do this with one again come on that's how it is Inspired strategy from the team there. What a well deserved win that was. We may see these kind of scenes a lot in Formula One, but it's easy to forget just what it means to the whole team. And it means that, a lot to me, guys. It means a lot. Look at this again. And that's Carlos signs his second win in a row. Up there on the podium together. This is what I come to Mercedes to do to get these guys back on top. This is as good a time as any to cool off. And as proceedings start to wind down, I was really worried about Carlos, and I was thinking about getting rid of him and bringing Fernando Alonso. I was literally two races ago I'd had enough, and now he's won two races in a row and the sprint race. He's been utterly that, unbelievable. Our weekend in Miami now draws to a close. Now the teams will be looking ahead to Imola, where the season progresses with the Emilia. Imola, I, I don't do fantastic at Imola. This is where some more upgrades come in for the other teams, right? So here we go, Valtteri up seven places to number two, and Carlos signs up to number one. Wow, he started P1 and he ends in P1, and we actually changed his strategy. A one stop to a two stop and I think it worked really well always works when you've got a bit of pace in the car plus we had a pit stop of nine seconds so we did turn it around so here we go look at Carlos he's P2 in the drivers championships and Max Verstappen's nowhere 68 points I mean, look, he's getting pole positions a lot, is Carlos. So we like to see that. Ferrari, I mean, George Russell, he's carrying Ferrari at the moment. Checo struggling, isn't he? A very, very good qualifying from Liam Lawson, I have to say. Alpha Tauri looked actually decent. <laughs> these guys look at Christian Mansell like he's cracking on we've got Fernando Alonso and Lewis Hamilton without a drive but Christian Mansell's driving for Williams so we're catching Red Bull at a pace our second win of the season yeah that it wasn't our finest moment with, with the pit stops so So, an, almost another imperious weekend for Carlos Sainz. Valtteri done really well as well. So, there we have it. That was the Miami Grand Prix. So, we've got 11 days till the next Grand Prix. We've got bits and bobs going on. Um... think we have in the news yep the new period but I'm gonna do that Yuki I'm gonna look at Yuki and Teo as well so we are looking at different drivers um, 
to maybe bring in. We will see. I would have loved to. Oh, I would have loved to have got Lewis. But look how bad they were. Lot. No wins. No wins. No wins. No wins. Didn't have a win in four years. So he's going to retire. But there's some there's some really good talent, which is which are free agents. We got Dragovic, Alonso. Um, Hamilton, Shaw, not Teo, not he's had a drive. He's had a drive for the last four seasons. He's had four race wins in my in my Williams team. I forgot about that. He's actually done really well. It's 85. 85 rating. He's actually decent. Sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Right. I, I, my chat's gone missing. Yeah. Ares. I, I yeah. Alonso sounds like a good... Good... Um, yeah, it's a good youngster lot. 44... Welcome into the chat, mate. Welcome in. Yeah, look at this. He's still got some good years ahead of him. Look at these. Performance control, 89. Defending, 90. Yeah, yeah. But welcome in. Casanova. How are you doing? Uh, I'm in season four. I'm so sorry. I've just caught up with your chat now. We're in season four. We, we had three years at Williams. Uh, we managed to get um, P2 with Williams last season. So we moved on. Um, Mercedes, they were struggling. Um, I've done a load of upgrades, to be fair. Um, so we're in season four. Um, the reason why Christian Mansell was at Williams was because just as I was leaving Williams, I had to finish the season. And Fernando Alonso's contract was expiring. So me being, I don't know, I, I went to put Mansell in the reserve spot, but I didn't. I put him into the other car. <laughs> so he's got a drive and Teo's not got a drive. And obviously Fernando's contract went out. That's why, this, that's why they've messed up grid. But no, um, when I come to Mercedes, um, to be fair, we had... Um, Carlos signs already here, and so was Valtteri. They, they've just re-signed Valtteri. Um, but Carlos signs, I was really worried about him because if you have a look, he hasn't had a win for a, a few years. But now he's just got back to two wins. Yeah, I don't think he won for three years, three, four years. And now he's just got two wins in a row, so he's firing. Uh, Valtteri, yeah, they signed him just before I come in. So he had all these. I, I think he had a really bad time. At, um, I think he had one podium like, in 2025. But he's back. He hasn't won yet. But he's he should have won, I think, in Bahrain. But he crashed twice. <laughs> crashed twice, believe it or not. And then he crashed in Saudi Arabia. And I think Valtteri would have probably won those first two races. So um, let's have a look at the standings again. Just for you guys who are just joining. Um, we probably would have been way ahead, but for our crashes, our DNFs. Yeah, sorry. That was me saying about, um, uh, that was me saying about, um, uh, who am I talking about? Carlos Sainz, wasn't it? He did get a win. I thought he didn't get a win, but he, he did get a win with Ferrari, didn't he, in 2024. Yeah, he got one win there, look. But I look back at Mercedes, and Mercedes hadn't won for three years before I, I got a break. Yeah, absolutely. 
it, that's it, mate. Come in with a plan. Get get get. Bring your own staff in. I mean, when Formula One Manager Twenty Four comes out, you're going to be able to build for the future. You're going to be able to get your own people in. You're going to be able to simulate some races if need be. It's going to be really really good. Yeah, I mean, cheese God, you should give him a follow because he's great. Um, he does Formula One manage, he does a bit of FM as well. Um, he's just taken over Ferrari. Uh, I think, were they in debt or oh, they were struggling, weren't they? The car was terrible. <laughs> yeah, it's that, that's an interesting, um, that's an interesting save, <laughs> I must say. I would have probably gone to Ferrari instead of Mercedes, but they didn't want me. Mercedes wanted me, but Ferrari didn't, so. So now, unfortunately, if you look at the standings, you know, even though Ferrari are P3, they're starting to struggle a lot. The last couple of races have really gone downhill, so I can see the decline of Ferrari happening very, very soon. Oh, I'm not going to refurbish that just yet. Right, guys, that's going to be me for tonight. Thanks to everyone coming in. I, I know there's been a few lurkers in the in the place, but I've really enjoyed it tonight. We've got another one too, so we're, we're building on it. Tomorrow night, tomorrow night, I'm going to stream, and we're going to do Imola, and we're going to do Monte Carlo. I'm going to do two races tomorrow night. And hopefully, I may be in Saturday morning as well. So, um, we'll get on with the season. Maybe we can do Canada, actually. Why Canada um, is going on, obviously. I'm not going to be streaming till this time tomorrow night. Probably. I just want to see. Can I just have a look? See if anybody else is streaming. Who I know may. Just see. Is there anybody else? Don't think there is. You know what? I might I might raid this guy here. Bottle Job Badger his name. <laughs> Darth Ravon his name is. So I might I might actually um raid him actually. Let's see, he's only got one follow he's only got one um person in his chat, so let's do it. Let's 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 surprise the guy. Okay, thanks to everyone. Thank you everyone for coming in. And I will see you tomorrow night. Go and have a great Friday. We're gonna raid this guy.